So you want to make a million dollars off an of NFT collection. Well, stick to the end of the video because I'm going to show you exactly how everybody's doing it. Hey, what's going on guys? Start through with five. Back here with another video. So, in this video, we're going to talk about how people all around the world are taking artwork like this and turning it into million dollar business ventures. So let's talk about it. So if you don't know what NFTs are, I already did two videos right here. I'll link them down in below, talking about what NFTs are and how they work. So we're not gonna really talk about that in this video. What we are gonna talk about is how to create your own NFTs, how to set them up on a blockchain, how to sell your NFTs, and how to build a community around your NFTs because that's how you're gonna make a million dollars with these NFT artwork collections. Now, with that being said, I am going to show you the simplest way to do this possible. If you decide to put a little mix or spin on any other steps I'm about to show you, you know that's at your own discretion, but I'm just gonna show you easy step-by-step step how to get started with NFTs if you wanna make money with them. Now, if I'm being completely realistic, if you're working like a regular nine to five job and you're trying to do something like this, I would say save up between three to five to $10,000 before attempting this. Granted, you can do everything that I'm about to say on this list for free, but it would take you dramatically longer to, in order to do that if you don't know exactly what you're doing. So for the point of this video, I'm gonna highball us and say that we saved up 10K to get started out. So what are we gonna do with that 10K? Okay, so now that we've saved up our $10,000, exactly how are we gonna spin it so step two is we're gonna go over here to fiverr.com and we're gonna type in nft collection oh if i can spell collection right because we're gonna hire a couple of people to do the leg work for us so as you can see right here on fiverr there are hundreds of different artists who are willing to make your entire nft collection for you so you don't have to do any other artwork yourself so let's just use somebody for example, right? Uh, they're pro verified, so they must do some pretty good work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here. You see they have a hundred different unique variations, a thousand different unique variations, and they have 10,000 different unique variations, meaning that they have 10,000 NFT artwork that they can give you so you can post. So the reason why I would choose this option is I'm doing this for somebody who just started in NFTs or who works at a um, nine to five job. Well, I'm doing it from their point of view. So if I'm doing it from that point of view, right? And I don't have a huge following on social media, right? Or I don't have a social media following at all. I wanna give myself the most amount of opportunities to make money or make my money back from what I'm about to spend, if you get what I'm saying. So the reason why I would say do the 10,000 different variations is okay so say for instance right you sell each nft for a hundred dollars right and you have ten thousand different nfts to sell right that's a million dollars off rip even if you charge fifty dollars for ten thousand that's five hundred thousand like that's easy math so i would do the five hundred two thousand uh, i would do the five hundred five thousand two hundred option I can't even talk 5200 option and that would be the one i would pick like i said before it's really up to your discretion i'm pretty sure you'll find somebody for way cheaper who will do a 10k artwork collection for you but i just use them as an example because they were there so after you get your artwork going you want to go over here and you want to type in nft smart contract because this is how you will get your NFTs on the blockchain. Also, this is how users will validate that they actually own the NFT that you sold them. So let's see, um, I'm just gonna pick somebody at random. Um, yeah, let's just go with this person. So this person will do a smart contract for your NFT collection. Um, create your own custom smart contract for minting on the website. And I would create an advanced smart contract with custom minting website in Marketplace. So that's actually a pretty good deal for 2500 And pretty much what they'll do is create you a website, whitelist it, create you a smart contract so your NFTs can be sold, and also create you a website to go along with that NFT collection so people can go to directly to your website and buy your NFT collection. So that's not a pretty bad deal. So if we did the first two options, we probably spent about 7,700 right now and we still have 3,000, well, 
2,300 to work with. So now that we have that situated, what we wanna do is go on to the next step. If I'm going a little too fast, make sure to pause the video. But like I said before, I like making things short and simple. So I like to keep the flow going. So after we get our NFT artwork done and we get our smart contract and website set up, what are we gonna do next? Well, step number four is we're gonna promote that NFT because how else is anybody gonna know to buy your NFT if they have no idea that you have an NFT out? So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna use this person here cause this bot inboxed me. So I just wanna show you guys how people set up their promotion. So what this person did was have a bot inbox me their NFT collection information so I can join their Discord and their social media so they can promote their NFT collection. Is that a good idea? Depends on how you look at it. Sometimes people can see that as annoying and don't want to have anything to do with that because they'll think it's a scam or spam. Me personally, I wouldn't recommend doing that because like I said before, people will think it's a scam if you do it like that. But as you can see here, they have their Discord and all their social media set up. So they got a Twitter set up promoting their NFT collection and they got an Instagram even though they don't have anything posted there promoting their NFT collection. So promotion is a huge thing. Promotion is also how you can entice people into pre-sales, making money before the sale even ends. I've had people tell me that they've made their money back on their initial investment off of just pre-sales before they even release their collection. And I've heard it time and time again. So if you have a good promotion strategy and you have a good social media following, you can make your money back. Like that 10K that we just spent on the smart contract, um and the nft artwork collection we've made that back like that like that ain't nothing so have a good promotion set up and make sure your social media is active and participating because everybody likes to have some type of interaction with their social media accounts they're following for the final step step number five is just sell your nfts bro that's pretty much it if you're wondering if it's that simple, it's literally that simple. If you're wondering why you have like 100 to 200 people releasing artwork collections every month, this is exactly how they are doing it. All they're doing is raising the capital, going to Fiverr and hiring people, and just promoting and selling these NFT artwork collections. Me personally, I don't really care for art style NFTs. I already covered that in this video right here. I like my NFTs to have some type of utilization like these gaming NFTs I'm covering in these bunch of different videos here. But like I said before, to each his own, if people are making money off that, I'm not a player hater, I'm not a pocket watcher. If you make your money doing this, then that is perfectly fine. But like I said before, make sure to like, share, and subscribe comment down below some more ideas for video topics if you guys like this video make sure to let me know on my social media all the links will be down below see you guys in the next video make sure to check out some other videos on my channel peace that that was way too long for our outro but whatever see you guys peace